Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining me today. Yeah, well, nice one anyway. The purpose of the video is uh, we're going to test out the uh, the quick shift and the auto blipper on the Triumph Street Triple 765 RS. Also known as the, well known by Triumph as the, the Triumph Shift Assist. So yeah, let's jump on and uh, see how she performs. Fire up! <laughs> Bit windy today so I hope you can hear me okay. Here we go. I'll head over this way. So it's a little bit windy today, so I hope you can hear me okay, but yeah, um, overall I've had the bike, uh, well, six months now, and fully running, and sometimes I find the old quick shifter and blipper a little bit, uh, what's the word for it, clunky maybe, overall it's very good, very smooth in general. I believe it kind of works better on the, uh, obviously on the upshifts, when the revs, revs, the revs are up a little bit higher for its optimum performance. Fairly silky smooth on the downshifts, down in the second there, oh bit of mud. Overall very good, very good. So yeah, it's known by Triumph as the Triumph Shift Assist. Uh, and it comes as standard on the oh, on the 765 RS Street Triple. I hope you're getting some good uh, sound from that exhaust as well. <laughs> That's how the weather is a, a little bit windy today, but hmm, what are they doing? So, if, excuse me if I'm not uh, talking a lot, but Let's see if we can go for the crafty overtake maneuver of the uh, not quite the white van man, but the. Uh, the red van a man and the Royal Mail van. Not really the best of uh, roads to be overtaken on at the moment. Can't really see round the corners. Anyway, yeah, back to the quick shifter. Yeah, like I say, it comes standard. Now this is the 2020 model. Uh, Street Triple 765 RS. And overall, I'm, I'm quite impressed with the quick shifter and blipper. Uh, it's quite smooth, it's fairly smooth, fairly, uh, you know, reliable. Occasionally it does give you a little bit of jip here and there, but like I say, it does work better up the uh, up the rev range. Once we get past these... Uh, no problems with the overtake. Lovely. That's, that's quite windy today, so I hope you can hear me okay. Nice to see the sunshine and a little bit of blue sky there as well. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. There's plenty of bike content coming. Plenty of new bike reviews. Oh! <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All the power you need, this thing, and more. Oh, we just used the clutch then. On my quick shifter and auto blipper video. Okay, calm down a little bit, calm down. So yeah, overall I'm quite happy. Um, 
you can actually turn it off I believe on the display there but why would you want to do that I don't know a little bit of gravel on the road you need to be a bit careful let me through sir coming through beautiful sound of that triple absolutely beautiful yeah it's fairly silky smooth silky smooth you can't grumble just a little demonstration of the quick shift from blipper today in action she does become very flighty very low on the front end you've got the old electronics there keeping it in, in check <laughs> Answer. Move over. Let the triple through. A little bit last minute indication there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just a very quick video um, on the quick shift from Blipper. And my uh, sort of opinion, I, I think personally it's a very good system on this. The Triumph Shift Assist. It'd be um, a good uh, accessory on the, on the track as well. And I'm hoping to maybe do a track day in the future. Now the restrictions are lifting. The dreaded uh, Covid restrictions are lifting. Uh, hopefully things are going to be springing back to life and uh, yeah it'd be nice to get on the track Ooh. really bumpy road this one so anyway yeah take care and uh, like I say stay tuned to the channel plenty more coming in the future take care see you soon